Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Jay Z NES Nuzlocke Challenge. And it has been quite some time for myself. Uh, it won't have been any time for you guys, but uh, it's been quite some time for myself. Uh, and let me show you the progress that I've made. We have grinded to no end here. It's been ridiculous. Everyone is level 70 and above. So, yeah. I don't think we really learned too many new moves, but uh, everyone is level 70 now. So that's cool. And Vortex is 71. And I just wanted to be really, 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 really... Oh, somebody's calling us Dana Lass. <laughs> this is Dana Lass. Are you awake? I always keep my Psyduck in tip-top shape by going to Pokemon Centers. That's good advice. Guess what happened the other day? I miss catching Eradicate again. Maybe I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's funny to me. Anyways, okay, so I wanted to be really prepared before we went and fought, um, uh, before we went and fought Gary here, or Blue, as he's known. <laughs> it's funny, this is the old guy with the Masingo glitch or whatever. Man, I remember doing that, the, the shit out of that when I was a kid. Alright, so, yeah. Oh, shoot. Well, so today we're gonna do this, uh, this gym and so that's gonna be fun and after that there's really not much left other than uh doing mount silver which wow look at all these blocks they look like legos <laughs> i never noticed that before yo champ in the making how's it going looks like you you are on a roll the gym leader is a guy who beat the champion three years ago he's no pushover Give it everything you've got. Well, thank you. I think I will. Uh, I don't think any of his Pokemon are stronger than level 60, so I think we're going to be okay here. Blue. Yo, finally got here, huh? I'm so badass, I got 10 badges in the original anime. <laughs> I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Heh, <laughs> Johto's gyms must be pretty pathetic then. <laughs> don't, hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right here, right now. Get ready, Johto boy. <laughs> That's a reference to Ashy boy, which he used to call him in the, the Anamu, as it were. Wow, he looks so much cooler here. And the music here is badass. Love it. Alright, so we got Pidgeot. Well, 56. Pretty easy. Um, we're not on the right Pokemon for it by any means, though. We're going to send out Thora here for her electric attacks. We could have just as easily have sent out our uh, Dragonite. Um, are you fucking kidding me? Well, hopefully that doesn't ruin the audio. Anyways, uh... So yeah, we're gonna definitely use Thunder here. It's gonna be pretty simple. Actually, in the time since I've made this video, it's been a few months since I made the last video before this, because I've just been grinding and stuff on and off. I've actually gotten every single Pokemon game, and I finished Gen 4, which is pretty exciting, because I'd never actually played Gen 4 before. Alright, he's sending out Executor, which I've faced a bazillion times in the Elite Four, so we're just gonna use Firefox there. Yeah, Gen 4 was pretty good. I'm actually kind of surprised. And uh, a lot of the copies I got of the, the games, like X and Y and Black and White 2, which I just didn't have, because I sold X and Y originally with my uh, 3DS when I sold it to my friend Kudron like, a few years ago. And I just recently got a 3DS XL, a new one. Um, so, yeah. Basically, uh... Okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, basically, yeah, I just went back and got most of the old Pokemon games just because I wanted to play them. Oh, and I got Heart Gold and Soul Silver like complete. It was pretty badass. But uh, I'm a bit excited about that. Um, a lot of the, what I was gonna say is a lot of the copies came with like uh, a bunch of Pokemon on them, so that was pretty fun. I like got Pokebank and stuff, and eventually, uh, what is Fire Blast? That was stupid. Eventually, um, I'm planning on getting sort of lightly just for fun into the competitive scene well that seemed to work pretty well 
And I was going to try to catch them all, but that's really difficult now. But you know, actually, they have that 20th anniversary, uh, uh, they're going to do giveaways for that, so it could actually be possible to catch them all, but I just don't have time right now. I'm starting my final semester at school, so. Alright, we got a Gyarados here. Not too hard. Just sent out Thora. Pretty simple stuff. But yeah, I've been hitting Pokemon really hard lately. It's, uh, I've realized it's a really cool franchise. There's a lot to it, you know. Um, and it all started because of my fascination. I wanted to get Mew, um, which is all going to be null and void because they're giving it away in, in one of the giveaways. Well, depends if I have that around here. really don't know. I mean, could or could not be around here. But it sounds like it's even coming to Canada, which is... Uh, surprising, so, which one of, oh yeah, Souls has Psychic, um, wait, but I wouldn't want a Psychic mood if I want, I'd want Cloud, whoops, I'm not even thinking this through today, that's okay, we're pretty powerful, let's see what it does anyway, Souls can take a hit, um, so yeah, I was gonna do the, my Pokemon Ranch method, uh, which if you don't know, you're supposed to deposit a thousand Pokemon into this Pokemon Ranch thing. So I was just gonna breed for like, um, in Gen, cause you have to do it in Gen 4. So I wanted to breed for like a shiny Miltank or like a shiny, uh, Vulpix or something. But I found out that you can't actually catch Vulpix in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and the Diamond version, I think. You can't catch Vulpix in either, so it's a big waste of my time. Did he send it? What was he going to send out? I forget. Uh, oh, shit. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, well, we'll just stick with our big guns here. Arcanine. Oh, yeah, okay. So, Dr Dragonite was a pretty decent choice. So, yeah. That's fun. Been doing Pokemon lately. Um, Let's go with Dragon Breath. Oh, extreme speed. Holy shit. That's a good move. Didn't do much. We got a big tank here, so. Yeah, I found out that Dragon Breath is actually um, really effective against the um, Elite Four, uh, the Dragon Team. And also, does the stream speed get stronger? I hope not. It kind of felt like it got stronger. Um, it's not going to matter, though. Anyways, um, so... Yeah, and also Ice Punch I used a lot there. Okay, we beat Blue. That's good. Blue what? How the heck did I lose to you? <laughs> Alright, here, take this Earth Badge. It's kind of funny that he became the, uh, the lead- Oh, we got the Earth Badge. Cool. Um, that he became the leader of this shit. Here, I'll tell you in a second. Alright, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's kind of funny that he became the uh, leader of this gym because in the anime, he comes in here and gets his ass kicked by Mewtwo. And Ash actually gets the badge, but it's only because uh, Giovanni entrusts Team Rocket to run the place for a day. So it's like another one of these like disputed, did Ash really get this badge badges? You know, because Ash is kind of like incompetent, so... Uh, do we have to talk to Professor Oak or Elm to, like, because that's the last badge, wasn't it? Didn't we get them all now? Oh, yeah, that's right. I wouldn't know because it doesn't freaking tell me. Um, I think we got all the badges, so I'm going to go talk to Professor Professor Oak and, uh, because somebody gives you access to Mount Silver, I think. Or they just let you in now that you have all the badges, I guess. I don't really know. Maybe I have to talk to Professor Elm. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's pretty irrelevant. We'll find our way. It's pretty easy to get to either of them. But anyways, uh, let's see. Yeah, I haven't gone on long enough yet. Alright, good. Um, let's see. Is this Gary's home? Yeah, it's Blue's home. That's, this is Red's home here. That's right. Did I get the Cinnabar? Yeah, I'd get the Cinnabar. I remember that. That was like the last episode I did, or one of them anyway. So this is Oak. Let's go see what Oak's up to. 
What's up, Oak? Ah, Jay Z. It's good to see. It's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. What do you think of our trainers? Out here? Pretty tough, huh? Wow, that's excellent. You collected the badges of the gyms in Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. Tell you what, Jay Z. I'll make arrangements so you can go and train at Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case, Jay-Z. Go up to the Indigo Plateau. You could reach it by Mount Silver from there. How's your Pokedex coming? Let's see. Current Pokedex completion level, 240, 204 Pokemon seen, 58 Pokemon owned. You're trying. I can see that. Your Pokedex is coming together. Yeah, no doubt, man. Uh, I can't catch them all because this is a Nuzlocke challenge. The Jay-Z NES Nuzlocke challenge. Anyways, um... So I hope we can get to Mount Silver from this side because I don't really feel like going all the way around. Which really wouldn't take that much effort, but still. But anyways, it's been a while. I've missed you guys. I've missed uh, doing this. It's been fun. Been getting pretty good reception. Actually, to put this in perspective, I just put out episode 12 a few days ago. And episode 13 is going to be coming out. That's the uh, death of our first Pokemon, Paris. Uh, Toad, if you'll remember. And Slash, our, our uh, Sandshrew, from way, way back then. So... For you guys, that'll seem like such a long time ago. For the for me, that was just the other day that I released those. So it's pretty cool, though. I'm almost there. Oh, we could catch a Pokemon over here. I bet they're all weak, but hey, if there's something, uh, this is a new route, I think. So this is a duplicate clause. Um, I'll have to go and check if there's anything new. At this point, we don't even really need new Pokemon. I mean. We've got the team right here. This is the team we're sticking with all the way to red. And I mean, as soon as I pretty much get through Mount Silver, I'm going to cut. And then the finale will probably be after that. Which is so weird to think about because the finale is so close. It's ridiculous. Okay, we can definitely catch something here. Let's make sure we have some Pokeballs before we brave this territory. Yeah, we have 27 Ultra Balls. I think that'll be pretty good. Okay, this could be a Pokemon we could catch. Oh, a Tangle! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bullshit. Oh well. Let's not kill it. Uh, we're gonna kill it. There's no way we can not kill it. It's level 39. It's gonna die to anything. Oh, yes! Okay, we can catch this thing. Oh, that's Stun Spore. That's pretty decent. Alright, let's catch this bitch. Ooh, we should hypnosis it. That'd make it a lot easier. Um, Vortex. Yep. Man, we've had quite the journey. I was just th oh, that's a bad idea. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's pretty effective. Um. Oh, it didn't affect Tangla. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. No no no. Okay. Good. It's critical hit. Good. We can withstand that. Alright. Let's go back to a fire Pokemon. We got a Solace this time. Anyways. Yeah. How are we going to catch this thing? This is ridiculous. Um. We've had quite the journey. We've lost a lot of brave soldiers along the way. Uh, speaking of which, our mill tank. That was pretty sad back then. It's not going to be able to withstand this, I doubt. If we kill it, it's no big deal. It's just a Tangla. I don't really care. Yep. Gone. Well, that's okay. I think we can manage from this point on without Pokemon. So, uh, new Pokemon, that is. So, yeah, no Pokemon in this route. But, um... Anyways. Oh, it would have been fun to catch a Ponyta. Or do we have a Ponyta? No, we don't have a Ponyta. That would have been fun. We have a lot of Fire Pokemon on the team, though. I don't think we'll be doing too bad on those, so... I think we'll be okay there. <sighs> Remember our mill tank? That was a great Pokemon. We had such a good mill tank, and it died so senselessly to that uh, 
that uh that freaking uh Gyarados, which we didn't even catch. And that whole incident with the Snorlax, that was ridiculous. That was only a few episodes ago, actually. For you guys, it wouldn't have seen that long ago, just a few weeks. But for me, that was a few months ago when that happened, so... It's weird that that footage got corrupted or whatever. Because I went over the amount of time, so... It's less weird and just more sad because, well... It was important footage, you know, two of our main members died, our Pidgeotto and, or our Pidgeot and, uh, what else? I don't remember who else, but somebody was important. Yeah, we got an Ursa ring here. Did we try to catch one of these in the, uh, the Victory Road cave or something? Sorry about that. I can't recall. Anyways. That's okay. Can't catch it anyway, so. Is there something over here? I mean, we surfed over here, right? So there must be something. <coughs> Guess not. Interesting. Just have this whole area over here. Okay. Oh, there's a Pokemon Center. That's the Pokemon Center, right? I think. Clearly not labeled as a Pokemon Center, which is stupid. Just should be. But that's okay. So yeah, uh, definitely uh, it's good to know to not record in more than 30 minute chunks. Now because of that incident, so... Oh yeah, I got hit with recoil. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I for I'm forgetting we're doing the Nuzlocke now. So if something dies, it dies for good, for sure. That's okay. We got this Pokemon Center here. I think we'll be good to go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I'm pretty optimistic. Um, basically. I'll probably just go back and grind the Elite Four more until we get to about level 80 or... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Do I need to know Flash? For real? Oh my god. Ugh, this is terrible. Oh god. No. <laughs> this thing probably knows explosion. <laughs> I hate fucking Gravelers. Okay. Going with our big guy here. Or a big girl. Is it a girl? That's a guy. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, it's super effective shit. Um... We can just run. Why are we doing this? We can just run. There's no point to this. Alright, good. Yeah, we don't have to catch that, given the duplicate claws. We had a pretty... Oh, that was it, wasn't it? No, Chie died, uh... When was it? With the the rockets or whatever, I think, so. So that was sad. But, uh, but other than that, I mean, it's been, you know, of course we're going to lose a lot of our big guys there, so no big deal. I mean, it was, oh shit, no. Oh. Okay, we're getting out of here. We can't. No, we're not doing this. <sighs> I was so scared there because it's part electric type and ground move, you know, and everything. Freaking Tangla just trolling us. Troll, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, here's the thing. I want to pick up Bone. Tangla can get an evolution form, but what about, uh, not Psyduck. Um, what about freaking Farfetch'd, another Pokemon like that who desperately need an evolution? Or like a Jinx or something, you know? Make it relevant again. Not that anybody even liked Jinx ever, but... What about Mr. Mine? He should get an evolution, right? He had a baby Pokemon, why can't he have an evolution? You know, it's weird, I just... Why is this old lady here? This is strange. Uh, in this Pokemon Center here. Let's go talk to her, let's go see what she is. Mm, doo, 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 doo. 
traders who seek to claim the power of Mount Moon despite its many dangers. With their trusted Pokemon, they must feel they can go anywhere. <sighs> so to get into Mount Moon, we're going to need to learn Flash, which means somebody's going to have to forget a move, which is stupid, and I hate it. And this is why HMs suck. Um, let's see. Well, somebody could learn Earthquake. That'd be pretty cool. Um... So I fucking hate this game. Um, who the hell's gonna learn it? Solace? No. We don't need cut anymore, do we? We could go and make Cloud unlearn cut and make it learn flash. I think that's doable. Can we fly back here? I, I gotta see that. I, I don't really know if we can or not. Okay, let's see. Um, Pokemon fly. Yes, we can fly to silver. Okay, so, yeah, we need to go Blackthorn to forget a move, and we're going to forget Cut, because we don't need it anymore, as far as I know, at this point in the game. We should stock up on some Hyper Potions. Oh, shit, do you guys see that? Look how much money I have, that's ridiculous. Yeah, we're getting 99 of those bitches. Um... Yeah, fuck it. We might as well get 99 Ultra Balls, too. Okay. Not that we're gonna need that many. We're gonna run into something pretty big, though, or cool, like a Tyranitar or something. That'd be pretty neat. Oh, yes, I'm the move deleter. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna make Cloud forget Cut. Which was stupid that Cloud had to learn Cut in the first place. How about that music? Pretty ominous. Okay, so now it doesn't know Cut, so now we can teach it Flash, which, uh, we shouldn't have to teach it anyway, but at least Flash is a better move than Cut, because it cuts down on accuracy. Do -do -do -do. All right. Cool. Very nice. Very clean. All right. Um. Cool. All right, let's do this. Um, do I have enough time to explore Mount Moon on this episode? I think I do. Oh, no I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. So this has been JZNES. On the next episode, we're going to explore Mount Moon and see if we can get through all the way to Red. Um, and once I've explored it, well, I shouldn't even explore it in the next episode, should I? Or should I? I don't know. Well, you'll find out in the next episode, so I will see you then. Leave a comment below, like or subscribe and, and all that stuff. And uh, you know what? Keep it classic, and I'll see you guys in the next video.